Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be showing you how to record a song in the C Music app. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click on this little, uh, there's like a circle with lots of little dots at the bottom, and that's the MIDI input tab. And you're just going to make sure that your MIDI input device is selected, so you're going to have to have your keyboard powered on and plugged into your computer via USB and then you this will be by default it won't be highlighted in blue but once you click on it it'll it'll connect to it then we're going to head over to this little movie icon looking tab here and here's going to be a big red recording button but before we can actually record there's also another recording button down the, the bottom right hand corner here if we were to click this now it's going to give us an error it's going to say midi and audio recording are both currently disabled please enable midi or audio recording to record so we're just going to hit back, and to actually enable this, we're going to go down to the bottom right hand corner, and there's going to be a, a very pale button at the, the top of my pointer here, a very pale button, and it's on the left side of the record button in the bottom right corner, and if we click on this, it's just going to go from like a, a grayed out color to a, a blue color, it's a, it's a tiny button, but you got, eventually you'll find it, and that will actually enable MIDI recording. So beforehand, if this was off, um, we would still be able to see notes coming down the screen when we play on the keyboard, but we won't be able to record, so this has to be turned on. And then we're just going to hit the record button to start, and then um, we can just play a song. And you can see we've got a uh, recording here. And then we just hit the record button again when we're done. And it's going to prompt us to name the recording, so I'm just going to call it uh, test recording for because it's a test recording and we're just going to hit create piece now if you want to actually export this piano piece as a video what you're going to do next is come up to this little icon here it's like a video camera icon it's at the very top it's in green uh, of the box here so if we click on that now it will say, it'll give us this little thing that says render watermark active and then it will advertise for you to buy the full version but you don't need to do that. You just hit not now and it's a 14 second test recording. We can just hit render and then it will prompt us with the location of where we want to actually save this file. So I'm just going to hit save to desktop and as you can see it is going to first render the audio and then the video and then it should be done. I'm going to come back when it's finished loading. Alright, so it's just finished loading and as you can see we have file saved as test recording.mp4 to the desktop. If we hit OK, uh, we can then go down to the desktop. I've got two desktops so I'm going to have to drag it from the other desktop. But here we go, we've got a set of CMusic mp4. It should save as an mp4 file by default. Just, if you double click on it, it will give you, oh, it's in, it's in my other desktop. It'll give you a little video here, and it'll compile the audio and line up all the little dots so that the notes the notes coming down the screen hit the, the right note at the same time as the audio plays. And that's how you record uh, videos in C Music on the desktop version.